So now we shall move to the presentation of resolutions and certificates. If I can please call up the Poplar Community Service District Board of Directors. We have a resolution uh, being presented by, I believe is it Lita Domingo? And received by Julita Agda. If we can please come to the say to the stage, Lita. Yeah? Oh, me? Oh, there. <laughs> Lita! Okay. Okay, Tita Lita, Agda will read the proclamation. Poplar Community Service Proclamation. Re resolution to pro proclaim October 25, 2021. Larry L. Young Day in Poplar, California. Whereas, Larry Dola Itlong was born on October 25 and left the Philippines for America in 1929. Whereas, Larry was part of the Littles strike in Monroe, Washington and Asparagos strike in Stockton, California, when he was a service 17, organized his peanuts center in Salinas Valley in 1933. Whereas, Larry worked in canneries in San Pedro, California, and Alaska, became a shop steward and later elected vice president of Local 7, United Cannery Agricultural Packing and Allied Workers of America. Whereas, Larry was re recruited to the Agricultural Worker Organization Commun Community a AWOC in 1960. By 1965, become the official Southern Regional Director of AWOC. Whereas, it was Larry who, who been Guinness consulted to win the Cochilla Grape Strike. Whereas, Larry led Filipino farm workers who began a strike against grape growers in Delano on September 8, 1965, and later approached Cesar Chavez, a leader of the National Farm Worker Association, NFWE, to join the strike. Whereas, the merger of Filipino, Yemeni, and Mexican farm worker formed the United Farm Workers of America, the UFW that continues to organize workers to this day, whereas Larry inspired movement that not only ununionized agricultural workers, but also demonstrated to all of the society that the struggles to participate in this democratic process of this country is what gives the Declaration of Independence and the con Constitution alive relevant and vibrant. Whereas, Larry was key in posing for pounding of the Pablo of Biani Village, a low-income housing project uh, for retired for farm workers before he died in 1977. Whereas, Larry Dolay Itlong, former vice president of local seven of the CIOs, Okapawa, Union organizers for the AFL, CIO, AWOC, Assistant Director of United Farm Worker Organizi Organizing Committee, National President of the Filipino American Political Alliance, FAPA, and the Social Justice Warriors, remembered for his courageous and bold leadership. Be it hereby resolved that the Poplar Community Service District Board of Directors proclaim October 25, 2021, Larry L. Young Day, and call upon all its citizens to come together to remember his legacy at the October 24 grand opening events of this Larry L. Young Resource Center at Poplar under the auspices of Central Valley Empowerment Alliance by Arturo Rodriguez. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.
I did want to say one thing uh, before Lita goes too far, but Lita has been just an astounding community leader and um, she has blown away all the expectation and she's leading an amazing uh, study with UC Merced with the Elecano speaking uh, farm workers and she's done a magnificent job and she's brought in the community and that's the kind of stuff we need guys. So I just wanted to acknowledge uh, Lita, gracias. All right, thank you so much. Uh, now I'd like to uh, call up uh, 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 excuse me, Honorable Fiona Ma, the State Treasurer of California, who will also be presenting the resolution. And I believe this resolution is to be re received by Aziz, Aziz Hassan. Thank you very much, Robin. Uh, good, morning. good morning. It is my honor to be here as the oldest daughter of immigrant parents to be your treasurer of the fifth largest economy. I want to recognize our godmother, Dolores Huerta, my legislative brothers and sisters, uh, Rob Bonta, Mia Bonta, Rudy Salas, and your representative, Assemblymember Devin Mathis. I want to recognize my chief of staff, Genevieve Jopanda, who always makes sure I recognize, remember, and honor the Filipino uh, Americans who have uh, fought so hard for this country, as well as standing up for all of our rights here in the United States and California. I want to thank Larry Itlong's uh, son and daughters for carrying on his legacy. And I want to recognize the Filipino Farmers Cooperative over there. I just met these hardworking folks. They are the last remaining Filipino farming community in the U.S. So let us support them as well. Thank you to the Filipino American National Historical Society, Delano Chapter, the Central Valley Empowerment Alliance, and the Bulasan Center for Filipino Studies. And a special thanks to the organizers, Cynthia Banta, or Sincha. Sincha. I just learned that that is her nickname. Robin Magalit, an amazing intro. My God, you need to take it on the road, sister. Maria Perez Ruiz and Alex Idelor. Today we honor the late Manong Larry Itliong and celebrate the grand opening of the Larry Itliong Resource Center. It is in this spirit that we also celebrate and honor love, unity, and solidarity as it is, as it is weaved through the history of the farm labor movement. Let's reflect back 55 years ago at the Filipino Community Hall in Delano, where love and unity brought labor leaders and farm workers together to fight for better working conditions. It is with love and unity that farm workers linked arms and sang Dahil Sayo, the Filipino love song, is a reminder that only love can overcome the tension that grape growers tried to build to pit the Filipinos and Mexicans against each other. It is through love and unity, through grassroots organizing efforts and the collective vision right here in Tulare County that the Larry Itliong Resource Center was born. Thank you to Attorney General Rob Bonta for his legislation in his tenure in the Assembly with AB 123, which implements the stories of our Manongs in history books. Really? Give him a big hand. Thank you to Marissa Arroy for her film, Delano, Delano Manongs, and to Gail Ramasanta and Brian Pagalinan for their production of Songs from Larry. It is with their love, our unity, and the spirit of those who have come before us that we continue to tell the stories of the Manong Larry Itliong and the contributions of our Manongs and Manangs just through the labor movement, but also throughout all of history. Long live Larry Itliong for his brashness, braveness, boldness, 
and breaking the mold. Now we'd like to call up Assemblymember Devin Mathis and the resolution certificate will be received by Gregorio Rodriguez Torres. How's everybody doing? I know better than to ever try to follow my dear friend Fiona Ma on any speech. Fiona, I just want to say, and, and to Rob Bonta, our AG, thank you all for coming down here. I know Tulare County, I know Poplar, of all places, some people can't even find us on a map. So thank you for making it, for finding us, for being involved with our community. It means the world to our people out here. And, you know, just all the hard work, the dedication, the blood, sweat, and tears to get to this point means everything. And I'm so proud to have this here to honor Larry Elong's his legacy, his dedication, his life. To have that right here. Y'all may not know this, but y'all are eight minutes from my house. This means a lot. And I'm just happy to be here. I'm happy to make the connections and anything that we can do to continue this, to get more support. I'll continue to text Fiona and say, hey, get us more money. Um, but thank you all. I'm so happy to have this here and to have the ability to get more services for our locals here at home. So thank you. And, and a shout out to Rudy Salas for making it out here too. We didn't, we didn't see him earlier. Thank you. I should just also um, say that Gregorio, Aziz, Titalita, these are all members of the CVEA. This is an organization that isn't just one that serves the community, it is the community. And so just to make sure that folks uh, know that the folks doing the receiving of the certificates and the resolutions are, are, are members of, of CVA. I also want to recognize, we've just been joined by Assemblymember Mia Bonta. Hello. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. 